Hello and welcome to another Roger 365 tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to configure a web chat touchpoint and connect it to a Microsoft Teams channel. To begin, ensure that you have followed the steps from our Getting Started series of video tutorials. Go to the Roger 365 admin portal and select Touch Points followed by Web Chat and then click Add Web Chat Touch Point. Here you can enter a name for your new touch point and then click Add. Once the touch point has been created, you will see the configuration page. For our tutorial, we will be adding a Web Chat interface to this demo web page. You can see that we have already added a few lines of code to embed the Web Chat module. This code is available to you on our documentation website at ask.roger365.io. To enable the Web Chat on this page, copy the URL of the website. Go back to the Roger 365 portal and select Website Tracking. Click on Register a Website and paste the URL. Add a forward slash and an asterisk if the URL does not refer to a specific page. Click on the blue Save icon. Go back to the Touchpoint configuration page and scroll down to Page URLs where Web Chat is active. Click on the plus icon, select your newly registered URL, and click Save. Now, if we refresh the demo web page, you will see the Web Chat icon appear. But we're not finished yet. We need to add a flowchart to the Web Chat touchpoint so that it knows what to do. Go back to the admin portal, click on Dialog Handler in the navigation bar, and then click on Flowchart Designer. Click on Add Flowchart from Library. Enter a name for your new flowchart and add an optional description. Select the Web Chat touchpoint that we created as your start touchpoint. Select a template from the list. In this example, we will select Web Chat to Teams. Now select the Teams touchpoint where the Web Chat conversations will be routed. And finally, enter a welcome message for your Web Chat visitors and then click the Create button. You will see an auto-generated flowchart based on your input. Click Save. Now go back to the Touchpoint configuration page, click on Assign a Flowchart, and select the flowchart that we created. Click the Update button. Your Web Chat Touchpoint is now ready to use. Let's give it a go. The Web Chat user can now start a conversation and it will appear in the Microsoft Teams channel. From within Teams, we can reply by mentioning the Roger bot followed by the message. You have now successfully connected Web Chat to Microsoft Teams.